Welcome back to Learn SKN and today we're going to pick up from where we left off in this economics video. The last video we looked at the definition of market failure and then we looked at the causes of market failure. Now today we are going to be looking at some of the consequences of market failure. So we're going to look at what can happen if market failure isn't corrected and in most cases the government has to be the one who would step in and correct the failures of the market so let's not just wait let's not waste any more time let's just jump right into the video what are some of the consequences of market failure so we looked at the causes you know public goods merit goods externalities monopoly now what are some of the consequences of market failure if the government doesn't intervene and try to correct this market failure what can happen and so we have some consequences here such as Reentrenchment, unemployment, economic depression, a rise in the level of poverty, a decline in the provision of social societal welfare. So all of those are some of the consequences of market failure. And of course, the government is going to try its best to intervene and correct these market these failures. When markets fail in an economy, all groups in the economy are affected. Firms, household and government and the economy as a whole. In developed countries, the market, the government will try to intervene to correct market failure. In developing countries, the government might not have the resources to intervene and reduce market failure. In such economies, the consequences of market failure are reentrenchment, unemployment, economic depression, a rise in the level of poverty, a decline in the provision of societal welfare. So what is retrenchment? So retrenchment occurs when workers lose their jobs due to the declining activity of a firm. If a firm that is producing a negative externality is forced to reduce output or close down, then workers will be retrenched and when the firm produces less output, it will use less factory input, land, labor and capital and entrepreneurship. If monopolies reduce economic activities due to government restrictions, retrenchment will occur. So what is retrenchment then? So what I'm saying is that if there's market failure, for example, a firm that is polluting the place. And the government say, look, you cannot put, you cannot do this. You have to put filters or whatever on your 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 factory stacks to reduce the emissions. Now, if this cost of you know retooling the factory to be cleaner, to be more green, if this cost is great enough that the firm has to reduce its output, then that would mean that some of the workers would be laid off. And so we saw that happening during the whole COVID epidemic where some firms like restaurants and hotels, because the capacity was diminished, they had no need for as much workers as they did before. And so some workers were, were let go. Right? Some people lose their jobs just because the firm was doing less activity. This can happen also in factories. If there is there, there are laws and restrictions that prevent them from producing this higher, highest level of output, if they have to produce a lesser level of output, then that means they don't need as much of the factors of production. And of course, they will let go some of their workers. And so that's what we call retrenchment right there. Then we have, of course, unemployment. And this one is pretty straightforward. Unemployment. As workers are retrenched or laid off, they might be unable to find jobs. Perhaps they are none available or maybe their skills do not match the skills needed for the available jobs. They become unemployed. The unemployed refers to those persons who are actively seeking jobs but are unable to find a job. If the market fails to provide merit goods such as education, workers will be unable to develop new skills. The poor will receive no education or training for jobs. Lack of health care can result in more days lost by workers due to sickness. Absent workers lead to a fall in productivity. Employers, employers where they can, will substitute capital for labor and unemployment therefore grows. And so you can see this, this trickle-down effect of market failure, especially on unemployment. And the book shows it from different angles. They show it from the angle of if the market fails to provide merit goods, for example, education and health care. You're going to have a sick population and if you have a sick population then they won't be able to work you cannot find any work you're going to become unemployed now if you have <clears throat> you have workers who are unskilled uneducated they are not going to be able to fill certain positions and if they are unable to fill certain positions then we would have unemployment so you realize now that if the market fails to provide education 
for the uh, for for the population then that means that they are not going to develop the skills and training needed to fill certain job posts and as such it would lead to unemployment and so you can see how market failure can lead to retrenchment which can in turn lead to unemployment and also how the lack of certain goods merit goods public goods market failed to produce those goods can lead to a rise in the unemployment level poor health no work doing poor education cannot find a job because you don't have the skills to to take to take that job position and so you can see unemployment and retrenchment being a, 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 a consequence of market failure and of course the next consequence is economic depression and economic depression occurs when there is a fall in output in the economy and rising unemployment so you see what happened now so there's a fall in output there's retrenchment and then you have a rise in unemployment so nobody making any money so of course demand would fall and if demand falls producers producers going to produce less so supply falls and then you have a downturn in the economy and if it goes too deep then that would lead from a recession into a full-blown depression market failure leads to the economic depression as monopolies and firms producing negative externalities reduce output these activities lead to unemployment. If government does not take up the slack and provide public goods and merit goods, there can be further unemployment. So it's going to be a downward spiral into a depression. And of course, everything is linked. Now, if you don't have a job, nobody hiring, no money making, then of course, poverty, poverty would increase. And so market failure can in turn lead to an increase in the poverty level of the country so it can be both absolute and relative poverty we are we are meaning that if you don't provide health care education then they're not employed they can't meet their daily nutritional value so of course you have poverty right there happening so you have absolute and relative poverty happening so then you have social welfare and again everything trickles down market failure market failure because the 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 market fails to provide merit goods public goods especially merit goods then you have the social welfare stepping in to try and help citizens the government has to step in and provide subsidized education subsidized health care or free or subsidized health care education that kind of things so the government has to do its part and so that would be the welfare the social net coming into play to help to relieve some of the consequences of market failure when the market when there is market failure government has to intervene the government has to use its resources to provide public goods and merit goods firms producing positive externalities must be given grants to increase output there are therefore few resources available for government to provide for the welfare of citizens social welfare to the poor includes education health services subsidized transport training programs however the provision of public goods and merit goods by the government forms part of its welfare service to its citizens of the country and so right there we have the major consequences of market failure and we can see a lot of them you can they can some of them some can happen in a vacuum but for the most part they follow a pattern you have retrenchment which can lead to unemployment which can lead to economic depression which can lead to increased poverty which now the government has to go and look at social welfare and if all these things happening then of course the government may not have enough money to to use social welfare because using that money to try to get the economy back up you know try to increase aggregate demand and so we see all of this and so we know it is, it is very important for the government to be able to try and correct some of the consequences of market failure because it can have deep seated deep reaching effects on the economy on a whole and nobody wants to see any economic depression and the beautiful thing about economics that i love about that i love about economics is that it happens every day you can see it around what you read in the textbook you can see it happening daily right now the world is in you know the pandemic and so a COVID pandemic and you can see that all these things are happening the market failure is strong right now 
there's a lot of retrenchment going on people getting laid off especially from the entertainment industry the hotel industry people are being laid off people are becoming unemployed as companies cannot afford to hold certain you know workers uh the recession you can say the america had a deep deep economic recession most of the caribbean the global economy actually contracted because of the covid pandemic and so you can see that market failure can lead to all of these things so the problem here is that like for example in america the market failed to allocate certain resources effectively you know a lot of people who were renters can't afford to pay their rent people lost their jobs and so it's a spiraling effect and so we can see that they are rising poverty levels everything is happening what the government around the world are providing a lot of societal um societal welfare things like you know unemployment and stimulus checks and all those things to try to boost back the economy but that's just the nature of economics so that's basically it for market failure the causes of market failure the consequences of market failure all in a nutshell and so that's the video for you now what you need to do now is of course hit that like button subscribe share the videos and of course exams are coming up and so we need to be able to be on this thing studying making sure we're on top of the exams. I know there, there, there's no economic exam next year, next year, January, but there should be one in June, July. So study for that one, of course. You have the, the, the content, study for that one. All right, so today we would have covered the certain parts of the economic syllabus. We covered market failure. We also covered the cause of market failure, and we discussed the main consequences of market failure. And so that's it for section four in the syllabus. That's it for section four in the syllabus, market structures and market failure. And so we can move on to section five, which is basically looking into more, we're looking more macroeconomic stuff, we're going into more macroeconomics. That's where you look at the economy on a whole. We are looking at a lot of microeconomics, but now we're going to look more at macroeconomics things such as the financial sector unemployment all those things so stay tuned stay tuned like the videos hit the bell again and thanks for watching thanks for listening